sprayed with the Friendship Star block, and it's a nine patch block. You can download the instructions here. It's two pages to make this quilt you saw at the beginning of the video. You can download it from the description below the video. Sometimes people call those the show notes. Uh, if you're not sure how to download them, just click up right up above and it will tell you how to do that. So it is a scrappy quilt and I used one fabric for the background because, or for the light fabrics, because I wanted it to, I wanted the other colors to really pop. So this is a sort of eggshell or just off-white tone on tone. To do this, you're going to use, for the star, you need four half square triangles made from the same fabric. And you also need one square from that same fabric. And you'll, for the corners, you'll need four assorted fabric half square triangles. So if you like making half square triangles, this is the quilt for you. And I'm going to show you how to put this together. And I made a sample, or you can look at the picture in the instructions, and I just kept this off to the side so I can look at it every time I was piecing a block because if you don't set them right, it, you won't get the friendship star. So we'll just do this, and this goes here, and this, and then these go in the corners. And I literally did, um, I pieced all of the half square triangles first, and I lumped these together, the ones that match the star, and I would piece one block at a time. And in this quilt, it finishes at 64 by 76, and these are six inch blocks, and there's 99 friendship star blocks, and then we have a border, and we'll talk about that later. So when you lay these out, you're first going to piece the rows together. As far as making the half square triangles, you can use any method you like. For the stars, you might want to use the four at a time or eight at a time to make uh, the star points that match. But I used my AccuQuilt. I used the two inch finished square die and I used the two inch finished half square triangle die. And that's the only dies you need for this quilt. When you sew the rows together, or sew the blocks, the units into rows, I am a stickler for having seams that interlock when I sew things together. So what I did was the top row, I pressed these seams out, the middle row I pressed them in, and the bottom row I pressed them out. So when you sew these rows together, these will interlock. Now when you sew the three rows together, press those seams toward the middle of the block. And I had actually made a mistake doing this, but it turned out to be one of those happy mistakes. So if you look uh, around the, the block, the edges of the block, these are uh, pressed out, and this is pressed out. And then on the opposite side, these are pressed in. And what that gives you, here's the other block, and it's the same way. These are out and these are in. So when you're putting this block together, if you simply turn one, then you have these seams interlocking when you sew them together. And this quilt went together so well with all of them interlocking. So what you do when you're piecing your rows together, you interlock the seams all the way across. And now when you're sewing the next row after this, you check this one and these seams are pressed outward so the next row, you will turn it so those seams are pressed inward. So then all of your seams as you're sewing those two rows together will all interlock and it just goes together so perfectly. <clears throat> so you're going to set these nine blocks across and 11 blocks down. And then when I finished this, I didn't like these sort of flying geese kind of units at the end. So I wanted to put a border on and so I made another, let me split this out so you can see. I made another one. Oops. 
So I laid these blocks out like this so they would form a diamond shape. I always get confused on here. There you go. <laughs> and then I put a solid block or a background block between them. So then it made these diamonds all the way across. So if this one was here, then this diamond would be a diamond here, and then another diamond here. So the border is actually this piece, this piece here, and you'll need one of these for each block across, down, and on the sides. And then when you get to the corner, you have these like this, you're going to put one of these like this, an extra diamond or extra half square triangle so you'll have the diamond in the corner and then it continues this way. Just like that. And this is all illustrated a lot better in the instructions. So then I have, the instructions will tell you how many half square triangles you need and these will be for the block corners, the border, and the border corners, so there's four. It also shows you the, the pressing direction with the arrows. Uh, it shows you how to put together the border. And then I also show you how to cut the second border, which is the solid blue or teal color border here. And it tells you how to cut those from lengthwise grain. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you can make one of these quilts yourself.